Everybody agrees, Paul, it's, this is not the best way of cutting spending, across the board, meat cleaver kind of uh, cutting spending. They would like to do it with a scalpel, a much more intelligent way, but they haven't been able to come up with a deal. Right, and I, with all due respect to Mr. Romney, he ain't the solution. And I, I'm glad it's killing him. I'm glad. Because, you know, it's killing the middle class. And, you know, at least he's suffering a little psychic pain. As it's killing him, as he said in that incredibly selfish statement we just saw, he was sitting in a $12 million mansion that he bought for cash, Wolf. And now you know what he's going to do? He's going to tear that mansion down, build one four times bigger with an elevator for his car, and yet he only pays a 14% tax rate. That's killing me. That's killing the American middle class. That's what he ought to be talking about. He should have stood up yesterday and said, look, we are in a world of hurt. This sequester is bad. Wealthy people like me should not use this Romney rule loophole by which they only pay 14% on a $20 million income. That's what he should have said. He could have really helped his country by stepping up. He's not up doing it. anything illegal. Yeah. That's the law. Absolutely. The law. Investment the law. income, that's Absolutely. what you pay. Absolutely. But he doesn't have a salary. Absolutely. If he had a salary, he'd be paying 39%. Exactly. So if he were a waiter, he would be paying a higher tax rate than the 14% that he's paying as a multimillionaire. Perfectly legally, but it's an outrage. Right. And it's killing me. It's killing me.